Hey guys, today we are at 3701 Euclid in Highland Park, which is located in Dallas, Texas. This house is amazing. It's 9,962 square feet, six bedrooms, six full bathrooms, two half bathrooms, a pool and spa, and a guest suite over the six car garage. So come take a tour with me of this amazing French country estate. Let's go take a look. This home is listed by Kim Mullins and Carissa Buchanan with the Mullins Buchanan Group with Keller Williams North Country. Hi guys, if we haven't met before, my name is Michelle Modesto. I'm a realtor with Keller Williams North Country. All right, so now we are in the main foyer of the home. You can see we've got two dueling staircases to go up to the second level. And we actually have a third story in this house with a large game room and a flex room with a full bath and closet. So first, let's go ahead and start to our left and we're gonna see the formal living room. As you can see, the formal living room has a grand fireplace and a nice chandelier. And it's a really, really, really large room. All right, moving on, we'll go ahead and go across the other side. And this is the formal dining room. It's got, also has windows, it's got bay windows out to the front yard and the circle drive. It's got a large gas fireplace as well. This would be a wonderful room to entertain guests for a nice dinner or holiday meal. All right, so let's go ahead and go back through the main entryway. We will go to the little less formal living room. As you can see, there's two steps down into the formal, or not formal living, but the living room. We've got a very large fireplace on the left. And in the center, you have three glass French doors that lead out to the backyard. And to your right, you have a very large wet bar the wet bar also has a wine cooler a sink and the ice maker all right so let's go ahead and come through here you've got two steps back up again and we will come in through to the kitchen kitchen is absolutely huge and gorgeous. You've got a sub-zero refrigerator and a sub-zero freezer. You've got a Viking six-top gas stove and oven. You've got a, your sink with two dishwashers on the left. And then you've got on the island, you have an a um, small sink for uh, getting vegetables, fruit cleaned and ready to be washed, ready to be cooked. And on the other side of the kitchen, you also have another oven and built-in microwave and a warming drawer. And to your left, we have not just one large pantry, but actually two right in a row. So you go through to the first pantry, and then you also have a second pantry. So plenty of space to store food and all kinds of cooking items for large gatherings, parties, and holidays. Let's go through here to the butler's pantry, where you have two wine fridges, one on each side. And you've got this swing door right here that leads you back into the formal dining room. All right, so now let's make our way over to the half bath and the study. The half bath and the study are located on the left side of the 
living room. So here you have a half bath. And next to the half bath is your study. It's a great space, especially if you work from home or if you have kids who need a really nice, quiet place to do homework. Yes, and it has also really, really nice views of the pool and spa in the backyard. All right, so now let's go upstairs to the second level where all of the bedrooms are located. As you can see, the main part of the floor um, is wood flooring, but all the bedrooms actually are carpeted. So let's go over to our right first this time, and we'll see the first two bedrooms on this side. Now, as you can see, these bedrooms are very large. For secondary bedrooms, they are very large. You've got a nice closet on the right. And you have a full bathroom on your left. And the walk-in closet also has built-in shelves and drawers. All right, let's go to bedroom number two on this floor. So you've got another really nice sized bedroom. It also has its own full bathroom and very large walk-in closet. So let's take a look at the bathroom first. And here's your lovely, huge walk-in closet. It also has built-in shelves and drawers. Right, let's go across the hall into the other two secondary bedrooms and the primary suite. So this staircase right here on the right leads you up to the third level. The first is to check out the other two secondary bedrooms on the second floor. So you have another extremely large bedroom and this bedroom shares a full bathroom with the bedroom next to it. This bedroom also overlooks the front yard and the circle driveway. Now let's go check out the full bathroom that's connected to the next secondary bedroom. So here is the fourth secondary bedroom on this level. And this bedroom has the plant plantation shutters and it has a lot of windows and natural light. And it also actually looks over the pool area. And like the other four secondary bedrooms, it does have really nice built-ins with shelving and drawers. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the primary suite. So the primary suite has wood floors, just like the common area right here on the second level. And it also has two windows that overlook the backyard and the pool and spa. And it has its own fireplace as well. It's got a nice tray ceiling with crown molding. And it also has recessed lighting.
One of my favorite parts of this primary suite is it has two full bathrooms. It does share a walk-through shower, but each person has their own bathroom, which is really spectacular. So let's go try the one on the right first. The full bathroom on the right has the walk-through shower. No tub on this side, but it does have a very large closet. Lots of built-ins and drawers as well. And here is the walk through shower to the other side. Right here. So we've got a nice long vanity, nice big mirror, and a single sink. So let's go see the other bathroom. This one is more feminine. As you can see, you've got Beautiful, beautiful garden tub with the jacuzzi. And you've got a nice size vanity on the right. And on the left, you do have your own little built-ins right here and storage. And then you have the walk-in shower that's connected to the other full bathroom right here on the right. And then you also have a, an enormous, enormous walk-in closet with tons of storage for shoes, bags, purses, you name it. And another bonus is it has a cedar closet attached as well. All right, now let's go up to the third level and see the game room and the bonus room and full bathroom up there. As you can see, this room is extremely large as well. Got some really neat um, window seats. You got a huge bench, window bench, along this front wall that overlooks the front yard. You've got a built-in wet bar up here as well with a little fridge. And over here on the left side of the game room, you've got two very large built-in desks. All right, let's keep going this way. There is a door that leads to what could possibly be another bedroom. And here is a full bath. And you have another large closet right here on your left. And then this is what they consider like a flex room or an extra bonus room. So as you can see on each side, there's windows, there are cabinets, there's a desk, a built-in desk, a built-in shelving on both sides. So really this room could be whatever you wanted it to be. You could probably put in a twin bed as it were, or you could remodel this room and make this a possible seventh bedroom. All right, let's go back downstairs and we'll go through the backyard and the garages and the guest suite. As you can see, this house has such a grand entrance. I just love when you walk in, you see these tall, tall vaulted ceilings. And as you're coming down this third floor onto the second floor, I can imagine just seeing either a Christmas tree or holiday decorations in the foyer, greeting your guests with much, much style. All right, so now let's go look at the backyard and the pool and spa. Off the back patio, you have a really nice stone flooring with two ceiling fans. And sorry, I hope you can hear me all right. The neighbors are mowing. This seems to be a Friday night is a night to mow. So to your left, we have a really, really beautiful pool and spa with a water feature, a very large water feature. Very pretty. There's a lot of nice, nice landscaping in the backyard, and there's actually um, no grass, it's all turf. 
So it's very, very easy to keep up. As you see over there, there's the walkway. So if you look at the right side of the walkway, you see the grill and the door behind the grill is a door that leads to the kitchen area. And then if we keep moving to our, this side right here, this is the two car garage. So as you can see here, we've got a covered, another little covered patio with the fireplace and there's actually a ceiling fan above the fireplace and it's got recessed lighting as well. There's also, I believe, a small fridge out here. Yes, a small fridge. But we don't have to go inside to get any beverages if you're hanging out at the pool or having a picnic or a barbecue. So let's go ahead and go into the two-car garage and see how large it is. Also, you'll probably hear me a little better. All right, so you come into the entry to the two-car garage, as you can see on the left, there is a very large wine cellar. And you've got some built-in storage here as well. And then here is the two-car garage. And as you can see, it has a very large shop door you can actually put in a car lift in here or this is a great place to um, store taller larger vehicles we also have a lot of room in here to store tools and anything you would need for your vehicles all right let's go ahead and go next door there's actually a door here through to the four car garage all right so here is a four car garage you have a lot of built-in shelves, built-in cabinets, I think. We've got two double doors. We've also got a sink. And the double doors in front of you and the door, the single door to the right side of the sink are all for storage. And the door to the far right over here is the door that leads to the stairway to the guest suite. You also have a nice workstation over here built in. This door leads you to the kitchen area. So it's got a covered walkway. So you pull into this side of the garage with your groceries. You can just have a straight shot right there. And if it's raining, cold, hot, at least you have a covered walkway to get to the kitchen. All right, so let's go take a look at the guest suite upstairs. All right, let's go upstairs and take a look at the guest suite. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the living room of the guest suite. So as you can see, we have a built-in little kitchenette with a sink and a little refrigerator cooler. And here is an ice maker. You've got a really nice size living space. This would be a great area for either maybe an older teenager or a mother-in-law suite or just a guest suite for guests when they come to stay. And then let's go through here and we'll go see the bedroom. The bedroom is also a really nice size. And it features some recessed lighting and a ceiling fan. A walk-in closet. And it also has its own private full bathroom. All right, so let's go ahead and go back downstairs through the four car garage and we'll go up underneath the covered walkway and back into the house. You can see the utility room, the half bath um, and the kitchen that's connected to it. So now we're back in the four car garage that led to the guest suite. So now we're gonna head out the doorway that goes under the covered walkway that leads right into the kitchen. Can you imagine having a cookout out here with your friends, family, not having to mow the grass because it's just turf. Right here, you actually have an intercom. Go back through towards the kitchen and breakfast area. So as, you, as soon as you walk into the right, you have a 
powder bath. So that way if you have guests, family, that'd be cool. They can come right in through here and use this restroom and not have to walk with their wet clothes all through the house. And on the right, you have a little storage area. And you've got a water filtration system right here in this closet. And then to your left is the utility room or laundry room with the built-in sink. And now we are back in the breakfast room and the kitchen. Thank you so much for joining me on this tour of 3701 Euclid Avenue in Highland Park. If you'd like to see more videos like this, or if you have any questions about this house or any other real estate in the North Dallas area, please feel free to contact me. All of my information is in the description below. Please like and subscribe to this channel to see more houses and home tours just like this one. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.